Uh, and that brings us to our final speaker, Ajita Srivastava of the University of California. Uh, and Ajita, you can share whenever you're ready. All right, thank you. Uh, I hope you can see my screen. Yes. Okay, so my name is Ajitesh Srivastava. I'm the co-PI of uh, this rapid award called Recover Accurate Fine-Grained Predictions and Resource Allocation for COVID-19 Epidemic Response. Uh, the goals of, uh, of this project uh, are the following. Um, accurate COVID-19 forecast at various levels, including uh, for various countries, uh, for state level, county level, and also fine-grained for forecasts like uh, neighborhood level. Um, we'd like to incorporate data-driven identification of number of unreported cases, which uh, uh, are not really observed, but they uh, significantly affect uh, long-term forecasts. And finally, how to utilize these forecasts effectively for uh, resource management during the pandemic. This is what we have uh, achieved so far. Uh, we have an accurate COVID-19 forecast. Uh, in few seconds, um, we can perform training and forecasting for 3,000 counties in under 30 seconds. Um, we provide uh, reliability guarantees on unobserved factors. Uh, uh, for example, uh, how much underreporting is going on. Uh, in some cases, we can identify that number and we can uh, mathematically guarantee that that number is close to the truth. We have a publicly available web interface and a GitHub repo, and uh, we also provide weekly evaluation comparing our approach against uh, models currently being used by the CDC. Uh, we are providing our case and death forecasts CDC, uh, which includes weekly US national levels, uh, state level, and county level. Uh, these are uh, to be used to inform the public and to, uh, and to be used for vaccination trial site selections. Uh, we're also providing our uh, forecasts to uh, develop ensemble models to uh, UMass Forecasting Hub and also KIT, where we are providing uh, Germany national and state level forecasts. Uh, here are the publications. Two of them are preprints, and uh, one of them has been accepted at the KDD conference. So the central idea uh, that we claim here is uh, that a model is not enough, just having a new model uh, that is complex uh, is not enough. Forecasting requires making decisions regarding, you know, what learning strategy you use, uh, what kind of data pre-processing you use, uh, what do you choose as parameters, what, what you decide to have as hyperparameters. All these decisions uh, can significantly affect your uh, uh, forecast outcomes. Uh, with that in mind, we would like to have a model that captures various complexities, and yet we prefer simple learning approaches to avoid overfitting so that we know what we are learning is actually close to the truth. And to that end, we want to mathematically check learnability, whether what we are claiming we have, uh, did that just fit the past data or did it actually learn something? And we would like to have fast execution to enable scenario analysis. And uh, uh, you can read this paper to understand how we uh, start from a complex model and simplify it into a mathematically equivalent model, which is easy uh, to learn. Uh, so one central aspect of our work is to address learnability. Um, despite simplifications, our, uh, one equation in our model is uh, still nonlinear. So uh, we can always you know, fit your data to any, uh, any model, but does it reflect the truth? Uh, because there may be multiple solutions. Uh, for example, uh, here for underreporting factor, uh, you see four curves. All these four models in a way, uh, they fit the past data very well, but they lead to significantly different outcomes. So how do you know which, uh, which of these four curves uh, is, uh, reflects the truth? So uh, we proved that this underreporting factor can be learned reliably from data only under certain conditions. And uh, the details of this uh, are in the paper. We have an online vi visualization uh, where you can uh, interactively perform uh, forecasts. And you can also look at various scenarios of where we are going and what would happen if we put our best effort versus what would happen if we put our worst effort and where we might be in. Uh, a uh, few weeks from now. Uh, on our page, we also provide a uh, uh, comparison of our approach against uh, other approaches being used by the CDC. And uh, we've been consistently in the top, top two, top three. 
uh, again, uh, among about 25 models that are being used currently. Uh, other relevant work uh, we're looking at is, or we're considering is uh, reliably learning the effect of various policies. Um, we're also interested in uh, performing, uh, solving some resource allocation problems now that we have uh, accurate uh, forecasts. So how do we allocate PPEs uh, or how do we decide where the testing should happen across the map and where you should have vaccination sites? And with that, I'll end my talk. Thank you.